Fatima Daba from India moved to Germany a decade ago, just when hostile feelings against immigrants were gaining ground. Far-right parties are becoming more and more popular. They claim that immigrants are a threat to the country. That's a common sentiment in Dresden, one of the biggest cities in the eastern German state of Saxony. While the state's beautiful old towns may attract tourists from across the world, it has a dark side. Populist far-right parties are very strong here. Nowhere did anti-immigration parties get more votes in the 2021 general election than in Saxony, and Fatima feels unsafe. Pegida protests were really strong. There were thousands of people at the protests in Dresden. Then I felt curious about why so many people go there and who these people are. So I went to the protest. You could feel the negative vibe and the hate. They didn't know me, but they hated me. They hate me for some reason. I could feel it. So. Today, Fatima runs a co-working space in the bustling center of Dresden, where she aims to provide a safe and welcoming space. Because I really wanted that not only people from outside Germany come here and meet, it was really important for me that people who come from other countries should meet locals here and integrate with them. The growing anti-immigrant sentiment coincides with an ever-increasing number of refugees in Germany. Many communities feel overwhelmed. There are too many, and our grandchildren will someday be the minority. I would actually send them back home. They should stay in their own countries. They have a different mentality. The populist far-right Alternative for Germany party, or AFD, is benefiting from these sentiments, especially Islamophobia. Culturally, of course, there are conflicts. Europeans live differently than Muslims do. They're raised and socialized differently, and they have a different worldview. That's where the two worlds clash. According to opinion polls, the populist far-right AFD party is expected to get the most votes of any party in Saxony's regional elections next year. Anti-immigrant sentiments are more widespread in the states located in former East Germany. The German Democratic Republic, the GDR, was less marked by immigration than the Federal Republic of Germany. In West Germany, there was a slower process of acclimatization to migration. There was less immigration in the GDR, and the few immigrants were isolated. So there wasn't much of an opportunity to get used to immigration in East Germany. But Germany needs skilled migrants. Chaudhry Arib is from Pakistan and works for chipmaker Infineon. He moved to Germany for his studies and ended up staying. In my team, there are people from different countries like Pakistan, India, Nigeria, Iran, Egypt, Germany and Bangladesh. That's how diverse my team is. The company recruits and supports international talent. Infineon doesn't perceive migration as a threat at all. On the contrary, we see migration as an enormous opportunity that makes our society more diverse. We get many ideas from other countries. We welcome that. Immigrants pose no threat to the country. This is the consensus among the vast majority of labor market experts. We have minus of 7 million people until 2035 uh, due to aging uh, and due to retirement of the baby boomer generation. I would say no immigration is a threat to our country. Uh, if we have no uh, immigration, then we will have shrinkage, we will have difficulties uh, in our social uh, security systems. Uh, so Germany needs migration. It sometimes feels hard in the beginning. But Fatima still wants to encourage others who move here. 
After 10 years, she speaks fluent German and she finally feels like she's part of the local community. Actually, what I like most here is the freedom. As a woman, I didn't feel it in my own country. I like that I can plan my own day. And now that I have a huge network for myself and others, it makes sense that I live here for a few years. And she's doing her best to make other migrants feel at home in Germany too.